Bernice, and this is my classic entitled Class of Whatever by Annalise Gelman. I can't recall what I did the night I skipped out on my high school prom. I had already cut off my hair, eaten an entire box of Fruit Loops. I had already invented the enemy a kind of full body flailing you can do to any beat, and you may enhance the effect of this flailing by imagining A, your entire body is composed of fire, and or B, the floor is wet cement, and or C, you have married someone whose name you cannot pronounce. Nothing caught on. I kept reading about the situationists, but all my friends were already just accumulations of images. I made my bonfire. I slept in it. There's a teacher who told me that learning is what's left after the facts are gone. And that's the only thing he said. I still remember. <laughs> and this is my response entitled RIP. Socratic seminars on marriage were sitting next to the person you thought you'd share yours with. He stole your piece too. He was once the action figure to your Barbie ride beach wedding, but wrecked the entire scenery before the Legos were set in place. My childhood dreams left with the pieces of him. The society implanted promise I actually didn't mind was crushed by the same society letting him slide, mansplaining his parents' poor relationship because the cheater actually falls very far out of love. With his cell first, and then everyone else. I sat next to him, the closest I've been to him in months and was Valentine's Day. Universe confused love for question number three, is love necessary for real? All you know is no. All I've seen is none. Nonetheless, the countless hours I've spent daydreaming of your suit Accident was my favorite color, whether it was my prom proposal or my proposal. Society likes for us girls to get at least one, but never want us to share the details of prom night. And never want us to imagine when honeymoons become better daylights, and they never want us to think of love. And they never want you to feel love, and they always want us to love to buy love. Spend our whole lives tapping our budgets to save for bouquets to pass to the next girl to become love crap crazy running back and have paychecks together to throw a party for the rest of the family's tears. That's finally not the funeral we've both been to so many funerals. No wonder why the love we had went away with the rest of our irresponsible relatives. R.I.P. Romance in politics. We're just a stack of high school couples with sweetheart potential, but no one says that candy after Valentine's anyway. For the rest of our lives anyway. We were never for aerosol potential anyway. So any of y'all wanna move on to the next question? I do. 